Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on different chassis. And we're going to use it as a good chance to do a good overview of this system as a whole. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. Let's learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R540 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, so this video is going to be uh, specifically focused on what are the differences between the chassis and how many different types of chassis are there. And for the uh, R540, there are only two types of chassis uh, as a whole. And it is going to be your uh, 12 bay and your 8 bay. So this is going to be your 12 bay large form factor versus your 8 bay large form factor. There are no small form factor options. Uh, the biggest difference as a whole is definitely the storage. Uh, but because that leads to a couple of other little small differences along the way. So if you notice on the front right here, uh, because the 12 bays take up all the space, there is no option for an optical drive. Whereas with the 8 bays, there is an option for an optical drive right here. And because of that, uh, when you open this up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this open and we'll do an overview in just a second. There's a little piece right here that you can actually remove that is not removable over here because you need that to access the obstacle drive, right? Um, so that's one of the small differences. Uh, the SAS cabling is different because of um, uh, the cables that need to go to the back plane. Uh, and the back plane itself obviously is different because this has 12 and this has 8. Uh, the cables that go to it, the board uh, that the cables go to is different. Um, and as a whole, that's, those are the only real differences. Everything from really about right here on is the same, uh, minus this one board over here uh, and the cables that we talked about. Uh, but the CPUs are the same, the motherboard, the power supplies, the RAID, uh, the uh, the, the network cards that go into it, the number of PCIe slots, all the connections on the front and the back, like everything is essentially the same. Uh, again, the biggest difference will be storage, uh, the back plane, the cabling that goes to it, um, and the board uh, that the, right here that we'll show you as well. So I mean, really everything is the same. And again, oh yeah, the optical drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to push these together. We're going to do a nice little aerial view. We're going to open them up and do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see exactly what the differences are. Then we'll show you a front and a back comparison as well. So you can see all the ports and we're going to use this as a good opportunity to do a just general overview and point out all the different parts that are inside. But again, this video or this whole series is, uh, is going to break down each individual part uh, so that realistically if there's something you want to learn more about, uh, you can go to that specific video if you want to know about this, more about the CPUs or more about the memory or more about the different types of drives. Uh, but this will be just a good little overview. So let's go ahead and put them together and hop in. All right, so I put my ESD gear on. We've pushed the machines next to each other. We're going to go ahead and pop these bad boys open so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's go ahead, just pop your tops or your latches, lift your tops, and we are in. So um, as we discussed, the, uh, the biggest difference obviously was the storage in the front, but this is the piece that I'm talking about that you will see is not over here, but right here if you wanted to access the optical drive in your 8-bay, you're going to need to push this down and slide these forward and then you're going to go ahead and be able to actually access the obstacle drive right here. Okay. Now uh, again, the other differences that you're going to see, the back plane right here is a you know bigger because it's for 12 uh, versus 8. Uh, the cabling is different. So if you were buying cabling, um, this could be a very common problem that you could run into is buying the wrong cables because essentially there are different uh, cabling to the different back planes. Um, and then if you follow the cables along, this is the board that I'm talking about that is slightly different. So if this were to somehow go out on you, you'd need to make sure you buy the right one and there's a part number listed right there so if you need to look it up you'd be able to find it if it did go bad on you so but as a whole like i said we're going to use this as a good opportunity to do a helpful overview so i'm going to go ahead and slide the air baffle out probably should lift the air uh the riser up but it's all right we're going to do it nice and gently to just get this out so all right now you're going to look at these and really like i said when you when you start comparing them from about right here on you're going to have the same number of fans they both have the dedicated PCIe. They both got the uh, two heat sinks, which are different from each other. If you look at the heat sink one versus heat sink two, they are different. Um, the dim slots, the 10 and 6, are the same. Uh, all the PCIe slots in the back are the same, which there are six PCIe slots total, one of them being uh, for your 
uh, dedicated RAID card, and then you're going to have one high profile followed by four low profile on the back. So if you needed to add a card and you're wondering, you know, what profile, most likely low profile is what you will need for the uh, 540. Um, and again, uh, this is this is pretty much the heart of this machine. You know, you have uh, your uh, your RAID card, your network cards can go on the riser. You have your redundant power supplies. Your motherboard is going to be the same. Uh, the uh, CPUs and the RAM you're going to use the same. The drives you're going to use the same. Of course, you can put more of them into uh, the 12 bay. Uh, but everything is realistically the same uh, from this point on, with the exception as of what we talked about, the cabling that's running from the back plane to this board, and this board's different. So uh, everything, for the most part, is uh, very, very similar, which is pretty common uh, within series or within machines that they uh, have just very slight differences as a whole. So all right, I hope this was a good overview uh, and helped in some way, shape, or form uh, for people who are at home. If you're looking for any uh, spare parts or uh, custom-built servers, we do new and used uh, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We do AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, E3s, E5s, and everything in between. And we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudengine.com. That's sales at cloudengine.com. If you made it this far, thanks for stopping by. Click that like, smash that subscribe.